Hey guys, how are you? I have to do some backgrounds that I'm going to scan and then use as some of the title pages on some of my videos, maybe this one. Um, and also um, they might go in the back of some digital downloads in my Etsy shop. But I thought I would film it. So I have some Bristol paper here. This is Bristol Vellum. This is 100 pound Canson XL paper. Um, as I've said before, when I've done things that I'm going to um, scan, that I like to use a smooth surface paper, hot press watercolor paper, or Bristol Vellum, both of which have a very smooth, um, non textured surface um, so that the texture of the paper doesn't interfere with the artwork when I scan it. So, that being said, I have um, some of the Liquitex muted inks, some washi tape the muted Daniel Smith watercolor palette. I've got a pen out here. Um, I've got some collage paper behind me. So we're just going to play and see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen. And uh, we'll give it a shot and I'll be right back. I'm going to speed through the process. I'll be right back. Hey guys, alrighty. So we have all three of our um, initial stages of our backgrounds done here. Now, one thing I forgot to do was trim down the paper a little bit before I got started. These sheets are actually, I think they're nine by 12. They're actually a little too big for my scanner. So we're gonna trim them down a little bit. Um, so that they'll fit. Okay, so I'm gonna do that to all of them. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna scan them as they are right now. Now, usually when I do these kind of things, before I go farther with any more paint collage doodles or anything, I like to scan these patterns of paint and colors um, so that I have even a larger variety of backgrounds to use on my computer. And I happen to really love how like this one came out. I think it's just gorgeous. So I'm gonna do all that and then we'll continue and I'll be right back.
Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out here. Now I've got three new fun mixed media backgrounds. I can scan into my computer and turn into something digital. I can use them as the image behind the text frame in my videos. I can use them behind planner um, uh, sets in Etsy. I can use them for a lot of things. I am going to show you in another video how I take these and the doodle image I did in a previous video, this one, and how I change them and turn them into a digital something that you can work with on your computer. Kind of, This is kind of the old fashioned way. You know, the new modern way is to do all of this work straight into the computer. Um, that's not how I learned how to do this. So um, I'm gonna show you how to use Photoshop to change these into a, um, a JPEG image with um, um, just the artwork and take away the white paper and how to do that in another video. So look for that video. It'll be sort of a part three. Um, and uh, yeah, don't forget the most important thing. 
besides look down in my description below and see how you can support my channel and the art, um, buying my book on Amazon, shopping at my Etsy shop, any of those things, um, there is one more important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.